WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 303, well off of its lows. S&P 41, NASDAQ 100, 169, Russell 31. Semis are down 60, Tranny's off 340. You've got gold trading up 240, 1799 is the print there. Silver up four pennies, 2245 there. The 30 year treasury is up six ticks. She's trading out at 155.10. So, the first chart I'm going to actually share with you uh, during the uh, break between shows, I went and took a look at the equal weighted ETF for the Qs out there. That's got QQEW. So, each of its instruments are equally weighted. Now, the equal weighted index or the equal weighted ETF in this case here typically provides us with the better message than the weighted index out here. So what you're going to watch if you watch QQEW today is the price level of 110.97. 110.97 is the high from the swing point from October 4th. That had 132,000 shares. You've done 87,000 shares through 2 o'clock. It's going to come in with lighter volume than 132,000, or it should come in with lighter volume than 132,000 shares. If price closes above 110.97, that says we ought to see a further rally or further bounce. That bounce should at least then take us up to the 112 level. That is the bottom of its daily profile. So I wanted to share that with you on a weekly or monthly time frame. Price is also testing a key level of support. That's the top of its monthly profile profile at the 111.29 area. Now, as we do, let's uh, go over and take a look at our indice charts doing our 2 p.m. update. In the upper left-hand corner momentarily, you'll see the Dow Jones Industrials. What it's done today is it's pulled back and tested and so far rejected its breakout level, 35.782.42. There's no bottoming signal, but testing and holding support can and is a bottoming signal. In the case of the S&P 500, we don't have that same message. You've got a gap to the downside. The hammer candle today looks like a uh, bullish hammer. So which one is it? Really, we don't know because they're both valid signals, one bearish, one bullish. But what the uh, spies are doing, or they're attempting to do, I'm trying to figure this out here myself, if the spies can close above 460.30, 460.30 is the swing point, this swing point, which was from the trading day of uh, December 3rd which had volume of 70, I'm sorry, had volume of 137. You're at 70. You test that and reject it, which is what it's doing right now. It suggests that the SPY should bounce to 467.50. Folks, stay tuned. David White, your favorite polar bear is up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll be back with you on Terrific Tuesday. Have a marvelous Monday, folks.